designing layout and handle events. Currently we are in section 2 and we are about to watch this video. So in this video we will check out first how to design layouts in Android, how to add views to our layout such as button or a text view, how to handle click of the button and along with all of these topics we will check out what is a toast and also how to use logcat in our application. Now head back to the Android studio and within our application make sure you are working within the project view and then expand your project app source main java and also resource layout folder and for better understanding let us close first all the files and only open our activity main.xml now before modifying our application code let us make sure we create a new branch for this video let us name it as section 2 video 2 so that later on you can get the code for this video from the github now let us start modifying our code within the text tab if you notice we have some code and within the preview window we can check our layout now now as a parent layout currently we have the constant layout but for better understanding let us as a beginner change it to relative layout so instead of constant layout let us change it to relative layout and also modify the closing tag change it to relative layout and also remove this text view so right now our layout is blank go to the design tab and from the palette you can check out all of these views such as within the button category we have the button view let us drag and drop our button within our layout so drag it and you can place your button anywhere on your layout now basically your layout is divided into four quadrants this is the top left quadrant top right bottom right and here we have our bottom left quadrant now these numbers such as 64 and 99 are basically the margin from left and bottom. So as you move it will actually increase or decrease like this. And you can even place your button in the center horizontal of the screen like this. Even in the middle of the screen like this. The Android studio will help you to do so by showing you the grids. But right now I will place my button on the top. Randomly on the top in the middle of the screen like this. Perfect. So on the right you will see visually the attributes of your button. Now in the form of code you will find the attributes of the button here within the text tab. So this is how our button looks like in the form of code. Now there might be possibility that your code and my code does not match. For example these attributes in your case might be different. But please don't worry about it. All we are concerned with the ID and the text. For me and you, these two must match. So as a text, let us remove the button and let us name it as show toast. So in the UI, it has been reflected show toast. And also the ID. Now the ID of the button or any of the view present in your layout must always be unique. For example, if I change it to button show toast then you have to make sure that no other button or any other views within the same layout should never contain the same ID. This ID should always be unique. And what about these attributes? Well, these attributes might match with other views. And once again, please don't worry about if these attributes does not match with my. All you can do is just play with these attributes. For example, the layout margin top. Currently it is 63 dp. Let us make it to 100 dp. Now if you notice our button has slightly shifted 100 dp from the top like this. If you make it 150 then it will actually move more downwards. Perfect. Let us revert it back to 63 dp which was the original one. Perfect. And this dp is basically the unit of the margin which stands for density pixels. Now on click of this button something should happen right. So for that we have to define the logical code within our activity file. Such as within our Kotlin file of main activity, within the onCreate method, let us use the id of button show toast and there the Android studio, the IntelliSense will show you this option button show toast. Simply select it and now on the top you will find this import statement. Such as import all the views from the activity main.xml so that we can use it within our activity class like this fine so button show toast 
use dot then set on click listener. Well, this is a method which expects a lambda expression. So simply select it. And as a body of this lambda expression, you can actually write your code. So whatever code that you will define here will be executed on click of this button. Fine. Right now, let us use our log statement. Now what is a log statement? I will come to this. Log.i which stands for information and it takes two parameter. The first is the tag. Since we are within the main activity, so let us type main activity. And as a second parameter, your message. For example, button was clicked. And now here we have some error in the red. So just remember, whenever you get any error within the Android Studio, simply click on it and then press Alt plus Enter. And then it will simply rectify your error. Here in our case, it has simply imported Android Util .lock class within our class, within our main activity. Perfect. So just remember, simply press Alt plus Enter whenever you have any error. Let us now launch our application. So for that, let us first launch our emulator, MyPixel. And now let us launch our application. Select your connected device and then hit on OK and wait for some time. So there we go. Our application is now up and running. Let us now click on this button. But nothing happens when I click on this button again and again. So what is actually happening? So for that, we have to open our log cat because on click of this button, this log statement is being executed. Down below, you will find this log cat. Click on it. And this is our log cat which is connected to our Android emulator. So here within the search filter, let us type our tag that is main activity. And there we go. We have got our log message. Button was clicked has been printed four times because I have actually clicked on the button four times. Perfect. So our application is working perfectly fine. Now, what is the significance of using the log statement? Well, the log statement actually helps you to log out the values and it is basically visible for the developer, not to the user. So how about if you want to display the message to the user that the button was clicked? So for that in Android, we have something called toast statement or the toast message. So for that, the syntax is toast dot make text. And then as a first parameter, we have to pass in the context of the activity in which we are present. So for that use main activity dot this and the second parameter is the message. So for that, I will use the string message here, button was clicked. And the third parameter is the duration of the toast message. So for that, we have toast dot length short and also long. Right now, let us use short duration. And finally, in the end, use dot show method. Make sure you use the show method in the end. Otherwise, your toast won't be displayed. And here I have some error. So right now, let us use just the context of this. Perfect. That will be OK. Let us now run our application again. Click on the button and there we go. Button was clicked. We have the toast message. If you are an Android user, then you must have seen this flash message like this. And simultaneously within the log cat, we are also printing the log message like this button was clicked. So in this way, you can actually handle the event of button click. So that was all for this video. Now in the end of this video, let us commit our project. Right click, go to git and then commit directory. Give the commit message as section 2 video 2. Perfect. Let's commit it and push it. So the push is now successful. So from the GitHub, you can actually change the branch. Select section 2 video 2. So the code for this video is right in front of you. You can download it and actually use it. In the next video, we will check out how to navigate from one activity to another.